Hey, this is Scott. This is the series on the home kettlebell, around the house kettlebell, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to go over today. It's a really good move um, that my coach Zach over at Morgan Junction had us do a couple days ago with a partial Turkish get up return, and then we put a windmill on top of it. Uh, it's really helpful for stabilizing the shoulder, getting you prepped for an exercise or whatever it is you challenge your shoulder with. You're probably familiar with this. Start off in a kind of a windmill position, then you step back. Trying to keep like an arm bar focus here where you're cranking your shoulder into external rotation. Return, shift your feet, and do a windmill. I'm going to do a couple of those windmills when you're doing this kind of a series. So that's the end of one series, and typical to do two or three of those on each hand before switching. Uh, which is great to show patients in the office, but most of them don't have kettlebells. So, this could be your broom at home. You can do the same thing. Externally rotate your hand, so you're looking at that fleshy part. You're posting that stick right behind you, control your ribcage. Step back and initiate the same sequence. Alright, that's how you do a Turkish get up, partial return with a windmill without a kettlebell.